Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Marcus here again. Let me talk about Donald Trump supporters. What kind of people are they? How can they be backing a man like Donald Trump? Well, let's look at that. Make a little small time analysis of it. Hmm, let's see. Republicans and Democrats have been in power as far as in Washington is concerned for quite a long time. And they have gone there under the description of serving the people of the United States of America to make sure that the wishes and the desires of the people are met to the best of their ability. They are there to do just that. Excuse me. Goodness gracious. Hello. But let's look at it again. We got Republicans and Democrats. Used to be all white men. But well, we got a black man in there somewhere that everybody knows is black. They say he got something that was black. Everybody doesn't know that. Now, with that mission of serving the Constitution over the people making sure that, as far as the Constitution is concerned, that these people are protected. That their basic rights are preserved. Now, apparently, that hasn't happened. We got all kinds of troubles going on in this country. And people are hurting. There are people who are dedicated to the Democratic Party and they will not change, I don't care what, come hell and free water or frozen water. There are people who are of the Republican Party and they will not change, come hell or free water. And there are people who are just out there looking at them, wondering what in the world is going on. And they keep hoping, as Jesse say, keeping hope alive that one day one of these parties will do something for them. They won't. They look back at the 60s and try to see if they can find anything, any, any examples. And they look back at the freedom movement of the 60s and they find a person out there talking about God, Jesus, and all that kind of stuff. And walking on basic principles and was able to accomplish an awful lot gave God some credit, even though many people didn't like it. And so they took their head of that snake and buried it. And all this other stuff about God representation is all about money. So the people have said the Republican Party does not serve them. The Democratic Party does not serve them, and God does not serve them. So they are reaching out for whatever they can get that will serve them. Now, there have been those who talked about other political persuasions, but the system has taught against all of those. All other persuasions have been taught against, even socialism. Kind of caught on a little bit, but it didn't catch on enough. Even the Democratic Party threw a stumbling block in front of that. And so we have what we have. We have what we have because the world people of America, outside of those who are committed to the Republican and Democratic Party, and those who are committed to whatever the church say, which is the same thing everything else goes on, they're not going to go for nothing else. They are not going to go for anything else. They are trapped. 
And so these other people say, we will take the devil if the devil promised to fight for us. Because that was all that was left. The devil came on the scene and promised to fight for them. Now, is the devil fighting for them? They don't really know. They don't really see it. But they know that he has everybody else in an uproar. And that makes them feel good. Now, when will they know? They will know when the health care that they thought they were going to get, they don't get. When they thought the better lifestyle they were going to get, they don't get. When they were hoping that if they were concerned about education, they were going to get some breaks there, they won't. When they were thinking about, did I say health care? If I did, let me say it again. The health care, it won't be there. And when they look for jobs, the jobs won't be paying anything. They'll be paying what they used to pay the Mexican. <laughs> $3. Used to pay blacks 2 and $3 a day. And they will be making the country great. Why? Because this is man. This is the man child. But this is not a slap in the face of man any more than it is a slap in the face of everybody else who thinks they're better than that. Because they're not. You know how you can tell that John McCain, Flake, and the senator from Tennessee, Cope, I'm not sure his name, so don't let me mess it up. You know what I'm talking about. The woman from Alaska and another lady, I can't call her name right now, but you know who I'm talking about. The reason that these guys stepped out is because they did not want to be a part of that, of this debacle. They stepped out from it. The church has not stepped out from it. They got all those preachers still lined up with them. And see, this is why these people are just like they are, because they know God has failed them, because God is in the same line with them, looking for Trump. God is looking for Trump to deliver him. <laughs> Whoa! What a joke. But the true people of God, they are known the same way McCain and those other congressmen who said no more are known. They are known by stepping out. People who know God step out. They step out. Now, I don't know what these congressmen are going to do. They're, probably, they're speaking out. I know they're doing that. Some of them are. I don't know how they're going to vote. But I know how the people of God are going to do. They're stepping out. They're going to speak out. And they're not going to vote for any of that. All they're going to do is start telling the people how you can have it better. They're going to tell the people how it was intended to be. And they're going to tell you and know that they are talking about God because they're not going to leave out the hate mongers. They're not going to leave out the people who have been abused. They're going to bring in everybody, the abused people and the people who abused them. They're going to bring them all together and give them the plan that works for every last one of them. It's not going to be against any white person or any black person, any male or any woman, any hater, black or white. No nationality is not going to be against any of them because that's what God is about. And anything other than that is a lie. It's a straight up lie. And, and I just want to tell you that because you, somebody needs to tell you that. Somebody needs to tell you that Donald Trump is leading you to hell. And yeah, we understand that you're in debt. All you congressmen, we know you're indebted to big money. But we're going to eliminate money. Money is a tool that is used to do the things to the people that you are doing to them. So they take that money out and you put your hands to the plow just like everybody else to guarantee and assure that all of us, every last one of us, have the basic essentials for survival. And then that other extraordinary stuff, well, by the time we learn how to live together amongst ourselves, other stuff becomes chicken feed. So I'm going to leave it there. Bye-bye.